Okay, I just want to start off by telling a small incident, okay? Once, you know, it, it was a time like, you know, just like you, there was a little lad, okay, a young boy, and then he was walking around and he was dragging a piece of piece of wood, okay? And then everybody is like, you know, what is this guy doing? And somebody calls him and he and they say, hey, John, what is it? Why are you dragging that piece of wood? Where are you taking it to? And then he says, hey, uncle, you know what? There's a poor old lady sitting there right next to our door. And, and it is so cold. And I just want to give this to her so that she can warm herself. And that was the heart that this little boy had. He wanted to help the poor he wanted to help people around and he had so much of compassion on pity okay so when we look at somebody who is needy who is you know very sick or do we feel that a uh, kind of a sad feeling children uh, you can just show your thumbs up okay do you feel that do you feel like oh i wish i could help him oh i wish i could do something if you see somebody you know with torn clothes little children on the streets do you think that oh i just wish i could just help them in some way we all think that right Right. Thank you so much for all the thumbs ups. I really like them. Okay. And exactly the same way John felt. And this little boy's name was John Scudder. Okay. You can say that. It's okay if I don't hear, but I'll see your lips moving. Will you say John Scudder? John Scudder. Ah, who is still unmuted? I'm not sure. All right. So are you, are you ready? You want to see his face? Uh, okay, but before we get into all of that, okay, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more, okay? This person grew up to be a great, I'll tell you that later, but his name is John Scudder and he was born in the year 1793, okay? It's like 1793, it's okay if you don't remember the dates, but like we all have birthdays, he was born on September 3rd, okay? September 3rd, 19. Hey, Joanna, something you want to say? I'm also born on September 3rd. Okay. Wow. Then I'm sure you'll remember his birthday. And his my sister is born on September, ma'am. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's continue. Okay. All right. And so this John Scudder, he was born on September 3rd, um, 1793. Okay. And his mama and dada's name was Joseph and Maria. All right. Remember that? It's very simple because Jesus' parents were Joseph and Mary, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, jo so John's mama and dada were Joseph and Maria Scudder, okay? And so he was born into the family. And you think he was a poor guy or he was a rich guy? What do you think he was? Mm, you poor is this and rich is that. Which one? Come on, this or this? Ah, all right, okay. I think your guesses are almost right. Thank you, Finehas. Thank you. And thank you, all of you. I can see you all, Sarah and all of you. Okay, and so this boy was born into a good family because his father was a lawyer, okay? I mean, you know, somebody who works in a court, who defends people's cases. Okay, that's what who, who a lawyer is. So his father was a lawyer and his mother was a, a very good lady. Okay, and she was a f lady of high culture. She was a very good lady. And but the best part is she was a prayerful person. Okay, hello again. Uh, I think Josh just, uh, you know, came in. Hello, Josh. Uh, good to see you. You can just say you know, hi or a thumbs up or anything if you are listening to us. Okay, so we are just talking about a little boy named John, okay? His mother and father's name is uh, Joseph and Maria. Joseph and Maria. Oh, so you're there. So you're there. Okay, 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 okay. All right, okay. All right, guys. So let's just move on. Let's just move on to our lesson, okay? And so... Uh, well, his dad was a lawyer and then as he was growing up, they were pretty, uh, you know, a good Christian family. Okay. So, you know, his father was not that into knowing the Lord, but his mother was a very good Christian. She loved Jesus so much. And even as uh, John was a little baby, you know, Seth, you know what, what his uh, mom did? <laughs> he, uh, she dedicated the little child to the Lord, you know, as in when, you know, the little boy was growing up, you know, she was like, Lord, I believe and I know that this little child will only be used for you. I want to dedicate this little child for you. I Did your parents do that for you? I believe. I have from the Bible, ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay, Finehas. I'm, I'm sure you got it. That means you just understood what I'm talking, right? Right? Okay. Everybody thumbs up. Okay, let's just get this going very quickly and I'm going to finish it up. Okay, And then as this child, little child was growing up and then his father 
wanted john to become a lawyer okay because he was a lawyer right so he wanted his son to study what he was studying i mean what he studied right there are some parents like that right like if you're a doctor you know maybe your parents will encourage you to be a doctor you know things like that okay and so uh, uh who's john's father joseph that's right thank you thank you thank you so much joseph. So Joseph, you know, his father wanted him to be a lawyer and he was like, no, you have to study law. But this man was like, oh, no, no, I'm not going to do that because I have a heart to serve the Lord. And then he thought and he thought and he thought and he prayed and he finally decided he'll do some kind of education that will make him learn medicine. OK, so he wanted to become a doctor. Is that nice? Yeah, you like, right? Doctors with the stet on that and a white apron. Oh, it's so nice when doctors are, are, are around, right? Yeah, but the, but the worst part is when they give you an injection. Ah, nobody wants that. <laughs> okay, tell me, how many of you love to get an injection? Can I see? Thumbs up. <laughs> I think Nathan loves injections. <laughs> I'm sure none of us does. Neither, neither. It's the same with me. Neither do I. Okay. And so he thought, okay, so if I want to serve Jesus and help people, because he wanted to help people, right? While he was a child, he helped the poor lady. You remember? You remember? So he wanted to help people. So he thought, okay, so if I want to help people, I can help them, you know, by treating them. Okay, if you're a doctor, you can treat people, right? Okay, if you're suffering and if you have some kind of illness, and then, you know, the doctor comes and he checks. Uh, let me see the temperature. And then he holds your pulse and he checks us, right? So he thought, okay, I'm going to help people by treating them well. So he thought, okay. And then he wanted to study uh, medicine. And so off he went into a university. I'm sure if you see that, you'll remember. All right, guys, now I'll, I'll just show you, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, okay. Where is my... Okay. All right. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, so if you can read it, it says Dr. John Scudder. Very good, very good. And then it says 1793, he was, he born. See, you want to see his young face? That was him. You know, do you like his signature down there? Can you see that? Is it nice? Yeah, you should all try and make nice signatures. Okay. Okay, George. All right. And then this, this is the college that he studied. Do you see the picture? Yeah. And that university is Princeton University. Can you all say that Princeton University? Yeah, you can say, I can see you. I can see you. Your lips are not moving. <laughs> so say okay, okay, okay. All right. So that's about uh, him. And so, you know, uh, I'll, you know, I'll just minimize this and keep it aside, but then you can still listen to me. Okay. Can you see me? Okay, so as he was growing up, you know, he became a doctor and then he was practicing his, uh, uh, his all that he learned, you know, to be a doctor where he was. He was in New Jersey. Okay, he was in New Jersey, USA. All right. Will you will you remember that? Some of you have t shirts with New Jersey on them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so he was in New Jersey, USA. Okay, I'll ask you one thing and I'm going to unmute. Uh, okay, Josh, I'll unmute you, okay? Okay, give me the answer. When you go to hospitals or when you go to uh, places where sick people are there, what do you see there? Are people happy there? Mm, again, sir. No. no. No, people are not happy, right? Okay, all right. Uh -huh. And then people are sick and they are so bad. But when, when you know, Christians, when pastors and when, uh, you know, uh, other teams, volunteers, they go to visit them, right? What do they do? They go and talk to them. Yeah, they go and talk to them, find out how they are. Do they pray for them? Yes. Do they, do they give them some literature? Like, do, do they give them some Bibles or things like that? Yes, they do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do one thing. I'll give you a simple uh, question and everybody, you either do thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. Okay. The last time you remember when I came to your class, I gave each one of you a pack of cards. You remember? You remember? Yeah. Okay. And so what were they? What were, yes, Joanna, tell Joanna. They were tracks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guys, we should all clap. Come on. I can see you clapping. Everybody, 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 everybody. <laughs> yeah, they were tracks, right? That's right. That's right. So why am I asking you this? Because when John was, you know, he was treating somebody, you know, he was a very good doctor and all the people around him, they loved him for who he was. They would come back to him to get treated and all that. But then one day he saw a patient reading a track. Okay. He saw a patient reading a track and you know what that uh, track said? It was something strange because uh, what was written on the track? You remember this one? Okay. I'll just show you. This is a sample. Okay. Uh, can you see the track? Yeah, it says the greatest gift, right? So there was some track like that, which said the conversion of the world or the claims of 600 million. And what was in the track? It was all talking about, about there are so many people in this whole world. You remember when I was teaching you about uh, uh, one missionary and he was from a milk business. Do you remember his name? Yes, George. Anybody who remembers? Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. <laughs> uh, William Whiting Borden. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's right. That's William Whiting Borden. Okay. And so this William Whiting Borden, uh, Okay, why did I say that? Yeah, because he was a rich person, right? Yeah. Even he felt the same thing. You remember he went to a world tour and he came back? Yeah. And, and then when he went to the world tour, he saw how different kinds of people were there. Right. So exactly, exactly like that, you know, John Scudder, he was reading the track and what was in the track was there are so many people around the world who are perishing, who do not know Jesus. So what about you? You need to go. You need to go for Jesus. You need to go and, you know, preach the gospel. That is what the track was saying. And when he saw that, when he read the track, he didn't really understand. You know, so what do you do when you don't understand something? Yes, Joanna. Ask somebody. Very good. You ask somebody. What else? If you want to know it by yourself, what will you do? I would do research on it. I mean, I would like look into it. Like if it's a word, I would look at a dictionary. That's right. That's right. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Everybody, guys, again, can I see thumbs ups and, uh, you know, some kind of claps and Abigail, Emmanuel, come on, guys, clap hands. Can we all clap hands? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's appreciate one. And thank you so much. You're like sending in your thumbs ups and claps. That's wonderful. Okay, so what do you do? You want to go deeper and see what it means, right? And John did exactly the same thing. So he had this track in his hand and he didn't understand. So he read it again. He reread it. He reread it again and again and again. And finally, finally, he knelt down with tears in his eyes and he prayed, Lord, Lord, this is what you're saying. You're asking somebody to go out into the missions, to go out into the world and preach the gospel. So I want to be that person. And then, you know, he knelt down and he prayed. Okay, if you want to see that, you know, I can show you that uh, small words that he said. Okay, and when he was saying that, he, he cried out to the Lord. Can you read what's on the screen? Okay, you know, John Scudder said, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? Lord, what should I do? He was praying that. And what did God reply to him? Go and preach to the heathen. What is heathen, children? What is heathen? What's heathen? Heathen means... Pagans, ma'am. Pagans. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. That, that's right. Can we all clap hands again? Come on. Come on. Let's be kind and good. Yeah. Clapping for one another. Not just sending the symbols. <laughs> <laughs> okay and so and so he then means anybody who do not believe in lord jesus and who believe in other other you know idols or any other created thing and that they preach uh, and that they worship them okay and so what did the lord reply go and preach to the 
heathen okay that's what he said and you know what what happens next and then he's like again scared he's afraid and he's like nathan you know he was not smiling and laughing and giggling and you know moving around like how we are happily spending our days you know we are all spending like full super cool right in this lockdown we are like ah that's okay man thank god we don't have school so it's cool so we can sit in front of the screen we can just fidget for a while and then you know anyways ma'am is not present here so she is not going to make me sit or beat me so i'll just run around you know go for a tour in my house and come back and sit. you know we are enjoying life we are thinking wow this is wonderful but john scudder he was crying out and he was praying lord jesus if you want me to go how can i go because you know what children at that point of time he was married he got married and you know do you want to know her name okay he got married and then uh, his wife's name was um i'll tell you i'll tell you in a short while what his wife's name was okay and then she and then she had a and he had a wife and then and then they had a little baby a little child okay just a little child and he was thinking so where am i going to go i have nowhere to go and when he was thinking like that and crying you know what happened here read what he says you know the lord replied to him and said if i your lord and master have done can you read that everybody if i your lord and master have done and suffered all the same Told, will you hesitate so god was lord asking him i will go and I after all that's right that's right that's right that's right and then you know that's what happened and then you know he, then then he replied lord jesus i'll go as you commanded and what did god say go ye into all the world and preach the gospel and he said lord i will definitely go but then again you know he made another uh, another small uh, uh, you know another small condition and he said lord you know we say right when we are talking to our parents and all that uh, if they ask us to do something then we'll put some conditions right we'll say uh, okay mama if you buy me this i'll do this do we say that we'll say okay mama if you uh, if you bring me an ice cream uh, i'm going to do this work uh or okay okay if your mom asks you to say something then you say mom okay mom i'll do this but uh, will you give me some extra time tomorrow or we kind of do some things right do we we are like we try to put conditions right to our parents and to our teachers if you do that i'll do this if you do that i'll do this we do that right don't we when i was a kid you know i i was like you know my my dad asked me to study well and then he said if you really study well and you know if you scored good marks then i'll buy you a bicycle then i'm like oh okay okay so if you buy me a bicycle i'll study well <laughs> we do that right so john scudder he was praying and telling jesus jesus okay fine you want me to go somewhere around the world and preach gospel to heathen tell about jesus to others okay i'll do that but uh, you need to talk to my wife also okay so if my wife says no then i'm not going anywhere if she says yes then we'll go look at that you know just like us but then he went home and he told his wife all that he thought and you know what she did children did she say oh no what is this i married you because you're a doctor okay because you earn lot of money and now we have a cute little baby so i'm not going to leave this wonderful country usa and go to some stupid countries where there are no proper facilities look can we do that if if your mama asks you to leave your home go and stay in a hut will we <laughs> we're like no ways what are you talking man no i'm not going anywhere right yeah that's exactly the same thing but you know even john's wife she didn't she didn't you know i think her name is harriet okay so she didn't do all that she said okay john i'm going to pray and then she prayed and she prayed and she prayed and then you know what she said okay read it for yourself what she said okay here it is all right okay there you go can you see that man okay what did, what did she pray the play button play button uh, yeah 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 actually the thing no this uh it's not yeah now i can do that 
Yeah, and she and she said all of us will read it together. What did John's wife? Yes, say? I'll go. I will go. Very well done. Good job, children. What did she say? Where thou goest, I will go. That means wherever you go, John, I'm going to come along with. you and this shook him all together he's like oh my god what is this now even he is saying hey who is that okay don't do any kind of things okay all right now he 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 was like like what's happening man how am i like uh, now even hadiet says who is doing that who just drew a heart something okay no no problem no problem and so that's what and that is what uh, uh you know he was going to do so let's just go further okay and then they decide to go and then this is what she okay everybody read this what's on the screen can you read that go ye into the world all to the world and preach the gospel to every creature Very much. So we'll we we'll, we we'll, we are going to close in like five minutes. Okay. So everybody pay attention. What do you see in this in this wonderful picture? Is there a globe in it? Yes. Yeah. And, and a globe has so many continents and all of that, right? It's like the entire world. So the Bible says you need to go to every nook and corner of the world and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. But this man, you know, he was praying, Lord, okay, you want me to go, but where do I go? Which part should I go? Which country should I go? The world is so big, right? Where do I go? And as he was praying and praying and praying, the Lord directed him to. Um, can you you guess which country yes okay russia russia no canada China, no england okay so i'll tell you so as he was praying okay you just hold fast okay i'm going to tell you which country it is and then as he prayed back in africa ah not uh, okay i'll tell that okay give me a minute okay but thanks for good guesses uh, and so as he was praying you know see this one read this one what does this one say read the gospel that's right and because he learned that right because he is going to preach the gospel and he even studied doctor right he studied medicine so he knows exactly how to treat people and so he was so happy and he was praying and uh, you know his wife also accepted and you know they both decided and they came forward to, they had a missions board okay and so i'm going to close now okay everybody look here everybody look here nathan and seth seth look here into the screen please everybody everybody okay all right so as they were going to uh, you know uh, decide and go you know what happened children they came to the mission board and they told them this is what the lord spoke to us so that's it we are not going to stay here anymore but we decide but we decide to go forward into some part of the world to preach about jesus then suddenly out of nowhere somebody comes up and like hey man what are you talking who do you think is giving you the permission to go i am the head of the family and if you want all of this house and this property that we have the money that i have then you are not going anywhere can you guess who said that his own father ah oh, that's right that's right that's right abigail abigail or emmanuel i'm sorry Uh, okay and so that's why right. abigail right thank you abigail i'm so sorry and so that's that's about it and then suddenly his father comes up is like if you're going to go out as a missionary i'm not going to give you any part of any share of what i have and then they again sat down and prayed and they said we will obey god and we will go can you all clap hands yeah so john scudder his wife and the little baby okay all of them that was a little girl baby all of them they said we are going to go and now we want to see how they were going okay and now they all prepared themselves everybody cheering them up and like guys you are doing a great job and everybody came together to give, to bid them a farewell you know how it is right when you go to bid a farewell you know either to a 
railway station or to an airplane or even you know just at home when you're saying bye to somebody whom you're not going to see them for a long time you know they were crying out and they were saying my friend my sister farewell forever you want to see where they were traveling here you go here you go this was they they just uh, boarded into a big ship can you see that yes ma'am yeah, the big ship and and then you know the name of the ship it was called brig indus what was it called brig, brig indus, indus. Brig okay. brig indus. everybody you know you see like they were waving around and those people from the ship you know they were looking so bright and radiant and you know what that man was asking uh, what what john scudder was saying he was saying only give me your prayers that is all i ask you my friends what was he saying he was waving bye to them like everybody wave bye to me come on come on we are going to wave bye in some time now so he was saying only pray only give me your prayers that's all i ask and then everybody like bye farewell forever because did they know that they will see them again children do they know they are going to see them again no they don't even know what's going to happen and then i am going to close my story now in some time 8 june 1891 they reached a place called what is this what can you see india that's right india that's right india and so they reached this place called india and now in india they were praying and they reached this place called india and they reached uh, uh, the shore calcutta okay you remember calcutta now it is called kolkata right so they reached kolkata and then all of a sudden you know what happened there something happened there you know in the ship there was a lady who was very sick okay and who was very sick and she could she could further she could not journey further okay in the sea everything went on well you know they travel for like so many months okay like maybe 6 to 8 months and they finally reached and now i'm going to close children everybody pay attention okay all right now somebody was sick in the ship and when they reached calcutta they said okay from here all of you can go back and journey further but i am going to but that's what that that was not the place john scudder intended to stay he wanted to go elsewhere okay but now he had to stay back because of some sick lady and while they stayed there at the sick lady's place you know what happened children who's drawing uh okay nana i'm going to stop sharing no problem okay so you can just look at me okay at calcutta there was somebody some lady who was sick and so john and his wife harriet scudder and the little baby all of them they stayed back for the little uh, for the lady who was sick right yes can i see thumbs ups i'm going to close now while they stayed two days three days the lady was getting better because he was a doctor he was treating them he was praying hard but unexpectedly something strange happened the little baby that they had she had severe dysentery diarrhea okay and she fell ill so badly continuously 3 days 3 days she was sick and they were trying to treat her and treat her and treat her but finally john scudder's baby died that was such a tragedy that was, that was such a tragedy they like what is this you know they thought okay now because i am going to go and do something great you know the lord wants to do something great through me but you see what happened little baby her name was maria she died that was a tragedy that happened there and at this point what do you think children at this point do you think john scudder and his wife harriet will continue would still continue to go further into india and preach the name of jesus or would they just stop and like why are we here let's go back No, they will continue and preach the gospel. They will continue. They will continue. Where there is all luxury. They will continue. They will continue. They will continue. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, guys. So for today, we will pray and see. You see, so much pain they went through. 
they even lost their little baby and in the coming days we will see what all sacrifices they made to live for jesus to share the love of jesus to the people around them okay and so for today the question is all of us know that verse right mark 15 16 we just we just saw it in this uh, uh, slide right what was it can you all maybe look at the mark 16 15 go, go into the world and preach the gospel All right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And John's cutter and John's cutter was he obedient to God or no? Yes. Yes. Was he yes. obedient to the voice of Jesus? Yes. 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 Though he had doubts in his heart, though he was, though he was confused, though he was frightened, did he say yes to his daddy or did he say yes to his heavenly father? Yes. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Right. That's right. You did a great job, everybody. So what we are going to do is we will quickly make a small word of prayer today, okay? And we will continue the story. We will continue this missionary lesson later, okay? In the next week, and see what happened. India, it's our country, right? Such a such a you know country with so many different things, different people, different languages, different cultures, different idols. What did God say? Go and preach to the heathen, right? So our country is a heathen country. Is our country, you know, a Christian country? No, but Jesus chose you and me in this heathen country. You know, He chose Nathan, Seth. You could be born in some other families, right? A big girl, Emmanuela, but you are born in Christian families so that you could know Jesus, so that you could know the love of Jesus. So, should we take that easily, like you know, casually? Ah, that's okay. So what? It's not a big deal. Or do do we need to value? Lord, thank you for giving me this baby. Lord, thank you for for enabling me to know the love of Jesus. Value. Should we value. have gratitude for uh, for all that we have today? Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes. Okay. So I'm going. Yes, to... ma'am. Yes, I'm going to mute all of you, mm -hmm. and then I will ask uh, Abigail to pray, and then Finne has to pray. Okay, and then we will close for today's lesson, and we will continue and see what the journey was. Was it was all about for John Scudder and his family and the different twists and the dangerous risks they took? Okay, uh, will you be interested to learn more about his life? Yes. yes. Okay. Thumbs up. Can I see thumbs up from everybody? Okay. So for today, let us going to pray. Okay. First, I will ask uh, Josh to. I ask uh, Josh to pray. Okay. Can we all close our eyes, children? We are going to close now. Okay. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for giving us a nice day, Lord. Lord, thank you for helping us to learn lots of things, Lord. Lord, we pray for John Scudder, Lord. Lord, help us to learn more about him and be like a missionary, Lord. Lord, thank, uh, thank you for making, uh, helping us learn many things about you, O Lord. Lord, help us to learn more about you, O Lord, and uh, glorify your name, O Lord, and. Uh, We pray for thank you for Ruth, ma'am. A lot, Lord. Thank you for helping her to teach us these things. A lot, Lord. Thank help us through this whole day. Lord, keep us safe. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right. I also will ask uh, Abigail, okay, to pray. Yes, please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for a wonderful day you have given us. Thank you for helping us that we have an opportunity to. to to be in a christian house thank you lord for giving giving us many promises in the bible thank you god that you are alive and you are not a dead god thank you jesus that we could all gather and we could listen to john scudder's story to learn more about you jesus and to be called for for your to glorify your kingdom jesus help us to do everything to glorify your name jesus and let us not lean on our own understanding because we know jesus that you are not dead and you will help us to we you will help us to trust you and you will work out all things that are that is your will lord jesus for our lives in jesus name i pray amen amen, amen. amen. can we all close our eyes i want to make a short prayer Okay and as we pray I will ask each of you to close your eyes
your heart thank you lord and in your heart say lord just like you called john scudder will you call me specifically for some purpose if so i believe in your promise and i will wait for you okay just a small prayer in your hearts children you know god has big plans for each one of our lives it includes even me and even as i am sharing these things with you i'm like lord if you called me lord take us specifically to where you want us to help us to learn now as we are children and as students help us to learn all that we can prepare us for the big things that you have for us in our lives okay so let's pray heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time yes lord jesus you have big plans lord and best purposes for our lives lord just like you called john scudder lord to work for you as a missionary lord you called him from lord usa and you brought him to india he did not say no to you he did not say yes to his daddy but he said yes to you so lord help us and the lord prepare us lord to obey you in in whatever ways you want to call us in the days to come use us for your glory and let these words be treasured in our hearts we thank you so much in jesus name we all pray amen